This is my team. It's dog water. But I have a plan for it. Now, I don't think this 72 overall team could make a Super Bowl right now. But for every touchdown that we score, we can open one pack from the store. Now, the challenge is making the Super Bowl in head-to-head -head seasons. You need five wins before accumulating three losses to be able to make the playoffs. Then you got to win two games undefeated. And then you make the Super Bowl. So obviously, I can't just sell every single game, get as many touchdowns as I want and lose. Because once I lose three, I can't make the playoffs. My strategy is this. In my first game, I'm going to let my opponent put up points. I'm not going to worry about defense. I'm going to get as many touchdowns as I can, try and get ourselves some packs to make this team competitive, and then I'm going straight try hard after that. This team does have one good player. I gave myself team captain Larry Zonka. My quarterback is Trace McSorley. It's never a good sign when your starting quarterback's image is not actually him in a football game but him on the sideline with an earpiece in <laughs> you guys get the idea let's lead this 72 overall team into their first game thought i'd voice these over instead of boring you guys with an infinite amount of gameplay uh either way as you can see i was trying the let him score strategy it's 28 to 7 but i did get one touchdown in he was really struggling against five wide and you're gonna see that be a theme here Five wide is an absolute menace, no matter how good your team is. Uh, but yeah, he was he was killing me. Uh, I did get a lurk here, which is pretty nice. Tried to go get another touchdown here with five wide, and I think I do get it on this, which will lock up our third pack. That's three touchdowns right there. Uh, he throws one up haywire. We get the lurk, take this pretty far back, and with no time on the clock, I try to get one more, and he lurks the shit out of me. All right, whatever. We lost the game. That was the game plan. That's three packs. Honestly, I think that went a little better than expected. If I had scored that touchdown there at the end, it would have been the icing on the cake, but I got three touchdowns. I honestly wonder how that game would have gone if I had a full team and I could actually have played because I felt like I could have beat him. Either way, I just got to take my L here. Three touchdowns is three packs from the store. Let's start with the best pack, the Legends Fantasy Pack. All right, we need, what do we need? We need a lot of things, but mainly I'm going to say a quarterback and skill positions. If we can get away with the D-line, Brian Hoyer, you're really not even that much better than Trace McSorley. In fact, I think Trace McSorley's better this first round was horrible. We need a big round here. Oh, an all Madden player. Probably an 82. Randy Moss. That's awesome. 82 Randy Moss. 82 Jordan Brooks. We got a user and then we also are guaranteed a legend player. It's gonna be Jeremy Shockey. I think having a good user and a good wide receiver is probably the most important. So our two brand new players are Jordan Brooks and Randy Moss. All right, I'm gonna go another Legends Fantasy Pack since those are definitely the best and then I'm gonna start looking at my options. I might switch it up. Jamal Adams. Amazing, Paul. This first round is infinitely better already. All right, you suck and are useless. Christian Watson might actually get reps. He may be a better wide receiver. And Eli Apple, you are going to get reps. Let's go. So let's go Eli Apple, Jamal Adams, Randall Cobb. Never thought I'd be excited to see Eli Apple. Our first A, Mike Asicki. That's going to help the squad quarterback, please. Tyran would also help the squad. And our legend player, give me a good one, baby. 81 Bettis is actually pretty nice, but I think I'd rather have more defense and a tight end than a okay halfback. So these packs are nice, but what do you know? I haven't gotten an 83 overall or better. Preseason guarantees an 83 plus. I'm actually going to go preseason here. I don't like the preseason players that much, but a guaranteed 83 at the least will be nice. Slightly better kicker. I don't even mind that. A preseason player, DJ Dallas. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm so glad we did not take Jerome Bettis. Aconquo won't get used. Panay Sua will get reps. And Kenny Young will get reps. Let's go. Also want to give a huge thank you to SeatGeek for continuing to sponsor my videos. Obviously, NFL and college football are back, so you're definitely going to want the SeatGeek app on your phone. That's why SeatGeek is amazing. They take tickets from all around the web and put them in one location to make buying simple. So no matter what you're going to, if it takes a ticket, you're probably going to want SeatGeek. Additionally, you can use code MMG for $20 off your first order on SeatGeek. Again, that's code MMG, $20 off. There's a link in the top of the description. Make sure to check it out and enjoy the rest of the video. We're now a 76 overall. It does want to start Brian Hoyer, but I think I like Trace McSorley. Like, Brian Hoyer has 53 speed. McSorley got some serious rushing stats last game. So now I got DJ Dallas, Randy Moss, Randall Cobb, Mike Kosicki, Panay Sewell, so a slightly upgraded offensive line, Jordan Brooks, Tyran Matthew, Jamal Adams. 76 overall team. How we play this second game is going to be gauged entirely on our opponent. If he's sweaty and good and going to kill me, I might just have to concede again and try for touchdowns. All right, game number two. This team was 
solid, nothing insane. I throw a super sketchy laser to keep the first drive alive. We march down the field, Trace McSorley, get to the boundary, and I'm thinking I might really be able to win this game. So we get our first touchdown. He throws an interception. I get cheeky with it, and we go to get another one. This is looking like a cakewalk so far. I throw out of the backfield. Looks like I got it, and I did it. We go with the stretch too easy. Uh, we stuff him on the goal line here, which was so impressive. That was for a two-point conversion, so we got a healthy, healthy eight-point lead, but we turn the ball over. He scores again, gets his two-point. All of a sudden, we've really got a game. It's 14 to 14. I throw a third and one conversion. It's really tough sledding to get this ball down the field. Five wide because I'm a bait a little bitch, but guess what? Fourth and seven, we convert right over the middle once again. Anthony Ferkser, kind of a beast, not gonna lie. We throw over the middle contested, but that's why we got Randy Moss. 21 to 14, that's three packs. Piss poor tackling. It's 21 to 21, he still can't handle five wide. I'm thinking, do I get greedy and take this touchdown or what? Game winner, Rodrigo Blankenship. I'm iced, I think I got it, come on baby, come on! Let's go! Wow, game two, we're actually gonna get a win! Three more packs and a win. A win on the board this early is huge. So if we end up going up against a really good player and they just smoke us, that's okay. We have a loss to spare. Shard Robinson, Cornell, A, and we do get a Legends player in the first round. That's actually pretty clutch. It's Jerome Bettis. I guess he really wanted to be on this team. All right, we need some big stuff here. Adam Thielen, I'll take a wide receiver for sure. A headliner's elite. 86 Lane Johnson, that's massive! And our legend player is gonna be 81 Andre Reed. Guess we go Lane Johnson, Adam Thielen, let's go! All right, I'm gonna risk it with a campus hero. Hopefully we can pull one of the 87s or maybe one of the 84s. Guaranteed two elites though. Neville Hewitt, that's actually pretty nice. He'll upgrade the squad. We get Garrett Bradbury. O-line's nice and Grant Delpit, okay, he's nice too. And a third elite, T Higgins, okay. Despite not being the best pack, that actually clutched up for us pretty hard. Our third pack legends fantasy nothing that first round was just dog water our second round we got a headliners again this one's elijah moore he's actually really good i like that elijah moore kyle duggar still building the defense and our legend player is 82 McAllister. that's actually our first true corner i'm gonna take McAllister and duggar not elijah moore adam thielen randy moss can get the job done i also have like randall cobb t higgins randy moss adam thielen Duh, i got three amazing wide receivers honestly let's get some guards next or extra centers to play guard, but still, that's really good. Linebackers could still use some work, but look at the secondary, dude. Jamal Adams, Kyle Duggar, Tyran. That's sick. D-line has nobody. 78 overall going into game three. We're one and one. Two losses, and we're out of here. Four wins, we go to the playoffs. Game three is underway. He starts out with a touchdown, but I know I gotta go for wins, so we gotta get down here, score right back, and I get a horrible, inaccurate pass. That Trace McSorley is not good. He misses so many passes. The Vikings are up 14 to zero, but I'm not giving up yet because we got to get our wins here. We come down, get a touchdown, get the two point. It's eight to 14. He's going to heave one up here. Bad decision. Nice interception. And we're moving. If you didn't notice, uh, this is a true Minnesota Vikings theme team. So respect to our opponent, but I get a touchdown in the PAT. So we're up by one. I throw a sketchy pass on my next drive. He picks sixes it. It's 15 to 20. Trace McSorley is going to take off. Continues to throw well underneath. There's a laser beam. And we're almost, oh, we're peeking on the door. But there goes Trace McSorley in for the touchdown. We get the two point. Now it's 23 to 20. We rock him. Get the ball back. He quits. That's a dub, game three. Oh my God, that was a stressful game. So many, an unbelievable amount of turnovers, but that's two wins. Now he did rage quit with 34 seconds left. So for the rage quit, I'm gonna give myself an additional pack. So three touchdowns plus our rage quit. For the rage quit, I'll take a Campus Heroes pack. And then let's see what we can do with those other three touchdowns. Game three went awesome. We got an 80 Dark Quest Denard. I guess I'm happy to have a corner. We get 88 Mark Andrews. Oh my God. I I saw Coralita, I didn't expect anything. Let's go! The second, literally the second best tight end in the entire game. We got another elite 
It's 82 Brian Burns, our first defensive lineman, and 80 Shaq Barrett. Let's go. What a pack. Honestly, I'm going to do Campus Heroes again just because that was so good. Two 80s. They're both halfbacks. All right. I learned my lesson. Wait, I got three. I got Merlin Olsen. I got a D tackle. It's actually dope. Jacoby Myers, wide receiver. Deion Dawkins, left tackle. He could go at left guard or right guard. And our legend is <laughs> McAllister. Damn. That's the McAllister I already have, so I guess I go Jacoby Myers. You're Run. shitting me, right? Like, you're shitting me an 86 overall punter? Well, what a waste of an 86 overall. We do get Indomitian Sue. That's a huge pull. Just give me an O-lineman. Juan Thornhill. I don't know if the legends have linemen. Mike Vrabel. 80 overall with an 80 offense and 80 defense though. Going into game three. This is awesome. We're two and one. Let's hop in. Game four, I gotta say, Kyle Duggar is actually an awesome user. On his first drive, we get an interception. Take it down close. And we need our touchdown here. We're gonna run this in. I got pretty lucky on that one. But I'll take it for our pack and our touchdown. He keeps trying to hit me with this cover three beater. Gets lurked again. And Delpit's gonna take this all the way. So that's two touchdowns. Well, guess what? His cover three beater finally works. All of a sudden, it's 7 to 13. Uh, we end up taking a field goal to go up by nine points. I kind of wanted to secure the win. Uh, he's going to heave another one, dude. This guy has a nasty cover three beating playbook. But still, we find ourselves with a one point lead. Throw a laser beam on third and nine to a wide open Mike Gesicki. Nobody's there. We'll take that touchdown up by eight. He absolutely has to score here. This game's pretty much over. Mariota throws it underneath. Bad pass. Brian Burns pitches it back. And it looks like I might be able to. Oh, and he catches up to me with Mariota. We don't get in the end zone and he quits. Oh my God, the lurk with Brian Burns and the pitch back. That pitch back was fucking nasty. I, I wish I had cut it and turned it into a touchdown. I actually just earned D-Tackle headliners Derek Brown on this account, which is hilarious because this is my first time playing on this account as all the games from today. I'm not going to take Derek Brown. I think that'd be cheating. I want to just use the packs from touchdowns. However, I was about to get a touchdown there and that's a rage quit. So I'm actually going to give myself three packs for the three touchdowns. One for the touchdown I couldn't get there and one for the rage quit. Derek Mason, 84 wide receiver. That's going to be very clutch for beating man coverage. Trayvon Morig's probably not much for us. Nick Scott and Jimmy Ward. Mike Asicki. I already have you, sir. I got Shaq Barrett and Trayvon. I already got all of them. All right, Legends fans, I need a quarterback. Please, dude. Trace McSorley has missed so many open passes. I think he would have rage quit sooner if Trace McSorley wasn't missing so many, dude. Please, anybody. Young way cool. I'm getting kickers and punters and no quarterbacks. 81 center Andre James and our legend is 80, 87 Jerome Bettis oh my god that Bettis is worth a lot and he's insanely good 87 Jerome Bettis 84 speed 87 excel dude do they just not exist we need a quarterback Eric Armstead 82 Deontay Johnson everything but a quarterback talk to me nice Jeremy Shockey hey I'll take that and uh Eric Armstead I'll take I mean maybe Legends Fanny Spec is in the move talk to me talk to me me. I just got an 87. Bro. I got another 87 halfback. Bro, we're loaded, but I'm not going to get any quarterbacks. There's no Legends quarterback, so now I can't even get one. I, I'll take Atwater and Britton Brown. I don't know anything about this dude, Britton Brown. Dude, I can get everything but a quarterback, I guess. It's kind of unlucky. Our defense is starting to look a lot better, too. I'm really happy. I just, dude, shit, I'd really like a quarterback. I've got literally every position other than a quarterback. On to game number five. Try to stuff him on the goal line. Nothing going. This one was definitely a tough game. Scores on his opening drive. We get real, real lucky here with that caught pass. Jeremy Shockey's good, but not fast enough to make that a touchdown. Gonna to roll out with McSorley. We're gonna take our yards. McSorley's good at running, not good at throwing, as you can see there. He's gonna pick six me with Darius Slate. It's 14 to zero, but I'm not ready to give up. So we start slinging. Trace McSorley's hitting really good passes. He's struggling bad with that offense. That was literally three straight five wides that he could not stop. So, so we get our second touchdown like that, but sadly I'm not able to get anything else. We end up taking an L in this game. One I wish I got back. I did give away too many opportunities to score, though. He threw eight passes for 110 yards and two interceptions. I threw two touchdowns. I needed to convert more, but damn, Trace McSorley sucks.
I could have picked them off so many times, so we really did get unlucky. A lot of unlucky stuff, but also, you know, I got to play better and convert, so... Just a quarterback. I get two packs for my two touchdowns, just a quarterback. It continues to be hard. I'm getting every position but quarterback, please. Xavier Collins, Jordan Brooks twice. I got Jordan Brooks twice and no quarterback. I got a center, I guess. I don't think we're going to get a quarterback here either. We get, we get our fifth or sixth halfback. We get an 84 left end, which is actually pretty dope. And we get another Jeremy Shockey. Bro! All right, boys, we're three and two. We need two wins to go to the playoffs. One more loss. We're out of here. Game six kicks off against the Steelers. We throw a nice, easy touchdown and get kind of lucky on our two point. It's eight to zero. And look at Jerome Bettis. This what? is the mommy's credit card touchdown right here, bro. This is the 91 overall Jerome Bettis. Breaks a nasty tackle. Walks that shit into the end zone. He does take his PAT, though, so we still got a one-point lead. Uh, I make a nasty throw over the middle here. I found this new play I really like, and I was running it a lot here. But guess what, baby? We got a Jerome Bettis of our own. Took a pretty bad hard cut right there. I'm not, I'm not proud of that one, but impressively, the run game finally is able to do something. It's been throw, throw, throw with Trace McSorley, but Jerome Bettis is able to get some stuff done. And this game was so bizarre because he quits at halftime. For reasons unknown, he quits at halftime. I don't know why he did it, but he did. <laughs> Damn, that was a really good game. What was that? It was 16 to 10? He just quit. All right, I'm not gonna take any packs for the rage quick because I really just don't know what he was doing there. Von Bell, dude, I've got infinite secondary. At least for the playoffs, dude, we're four and two. So we're, ooh, Rob Havenstein, nice pull. Campus, 84 right guard. Oh my God, just give me a fucking quarterback. Oh my God. Dude, the next game determines either playoffs or we head home. Only issue now that I'm realizing, and I probably shouldn't go on Campus Heroes. I don't think there's a Campus Heroes quarterback. It's Tim Tebow, but you get him for free. So I might be condemned even if I get a good pull like an 84 right there. They just can't be a quarterback. Oh my God, let's go! The 80 overall Delpit was a beast as is. Now we got 87 Delpit. All right, I'm gonna start quick selling stuff that's not on the lineup and I'm gonna try these re-rolls. I've got 2,580 training. I'm doing the ultimate kickoff re-rolls. I don't even know if there's a quarterback in that either. Oh wait, there is, there's a Baker. There's a Baker Mayfield. If we somehow got God tier lucky, we could pull Baker Mayfield, I guess. a quarterback there's a malik willis holy shit dude it's like fucking a beast version of trace mcsorley because he can't throw for shit either but he's way faster <laughs> jacoby Brissett. there's two quarterbacks i feel like Brissett's probably a way better actual passer yeah he's actually got really good throwing stats i'd way rather use malik willis though so in our win or go home game, Malik Willis is the new quarterback. Compared to Trace McSorley, he's better in virtually everything, although his throw accuracy short and mid are actually worse. Holy shit, he's just insanely fast and got really good throw power. Damn, he might even miss more throws. This might not be the move, but I'm gonna try it. All right, boys, win or go home. Let's hop in. Game seven kicks off. This guy's got an amazing squad, but the fact that we can run the ball finally is a huge, huge help. Uh, there goes Mark Andrews. That's one of our best players. We got to feed him the rock. We're going to throw another one. What a laser beam from Malik Willis. Britton Brown's going to cut it up. Britton Brown's going to get another one. That's in for the touchdown, but nothing going on the two-point conversion. We rock him out of the backfield. There's a big lurk from Eric Armstead, who's going to take it all the way in. You couldn't start a game any better. 14-0. to Ah, uh, dude. I literally, watching that back, I still can't believe it wasn't intercepted. Don't know what happened that on that one, but it is what it is. We get our redemption. Mike Vrabel sits down there and takes one. We're throwing out the backfield. This is looking like a potential rage quit, but he sacks me. I'm going for it on fourth. I don't get it. He scores. We do get ball half, which is nice. And horror strikes. Please do not tell me that just gave me a loss. I'm winning 14 to seven. It just gave me a loss. I'm still on Wi-Fi, still hooked up. God damn, Michigan Wi-Fi is so shit. EA servers are so shit. Oh, that sucks. That was my winner go home game. And now I'm going home, thanks to that. All right, boys, well, here's the thing. This is a brand new video type for me. So if you guys actually really enjoy this, I'll run it back. I'll run it back in a couple months when there's crazier packs in the store and this will look totally different. But for now, I'm way too frustrated to go back and play through. I just spent like six hours on this video and I just DC'd at the end. 
way, either way, it was actually an absolute blast, bro. We played really well. Malik Willis, Britton Brown, used a ton of players I've never used. Derek Mason was awesome. He was getting touchdowns like crazy. It was an absolute blast, boys. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a bummer it ended like that, but it is what it is. All right, hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.